Hey Aries, how you doing? Welcome to the Crow Tarot. We're gonna be doing your first half of April general reading here. We're gonna start off with some animal energy, but of course, like I like to do, and then we'll go right into the crow, okay? Okay, what is the animal energy for Aries? First half of April, please and thank you. Animal energy for Aries. Ah, I like it, I like it so much. Ooh, look who we got on the bottom of the deck, the crow. There we go, okay. Yay, you got the turtle. I get really excited about this. This is a very auspicious animal energy to get. This is, you know, the turtle carries his home on his back, right? Or her back, whatever have you, right? They're drawing my attention to something they don't normally do. Turtle has six letters in it, which is the, uh, six is the number of love. <laughs> they were like, please mention that before you keep on monologuing. Um, so, you know, the turtle carries, you know, its home, everything it needs on its back. I do feel like some of you might be traveling or thinking about traveling or on the move somehow, but this is beautiful because what this is saying is you finally come to a place, or maybe not even finally, but you've reached a place where you do realize that everything you could ever need really is inside of you and around you at all times. This is like you don't feel the need to stock the cupboard and, and pack like a big overflowing backpack to go on a journey. It's like, no, what I need will be there when I need it. Maybe not in the way that I expect, but guess what? I've learned that expectations are limitations, so I'm just gonna trust. This is having a divine trust that you're always gonna have what you need. And this is also doing things at your own pace as well. Slow and steady wins the race type deal. I do think you really might have mastered that. How beautiful. I do feel like if you guys have been um, very busy Okay, with work, people, whatever have you, um, you are being called to just um, slow down and smell the roses a little bit during this time as well. All right, turtle. Ugh, turtle also represents like divine peace and harmony. You know, the turtle is a kind of energy. When someone has a turtle energy um, going on with them or that's their totem or whatever have you, when people are in the presence of someone with a turtle energy, it, it's contagious. They feel a little bit calmer. They feel a little bit more secure. They feel a little bit more um, in alignment, honestly. I love that. You might be having that effect on people uh, moving forward here, right? Okay. What's going on for my Aries for first half of April, please? And thank you. <gasps> oh, I love it so much. Ace of Cups. This is great divine self-love. Okay, this is making sure that your own cup is full so that you can offer it to others. That's what this is. It's interesting because you know you're a fire sign, obviously. But I feel like, you know, even if you have water in your chart or you're dealing with other, you know, water signs perhaps, I feel like you are mastering a balance between... Um, because with fire signs and with you guys, sometimes, you know, your tongue can be a little bit sharp. The, the, the fire energy comes out. Sometimes you may say things that you may regret later or say them in a way that, that you're like, oh, I could have really said that better. And this kind of makes sense with the turtle. Being called to kind of slow down just a little bit. Like, stay productive, right? But slow down a little bit and smell the roses. I do feel like you guys have been working a lot. Working on your relationships, too, I'm hearing. But this is a beautiful balance between fire and water is what I'm hearing here. I think you might be feeling through your responses as opposed to coming from a fireplace of just like immediate reaction, gut reaction, right? I think you're filtering things through your intuition. I think you're filtering your first response to things through your intuition. And that is no small thing. And if I could bottle and sell that, I, I would. Okay, seriously though. Also the lotus flowers here, you know, they come from the mud and the dirt and the, um, sometimes confusion and then they come up on top and it's like look at how beautiful I am I think you have a lot of feels like the word is mastery you've mastered something whether it's your own inward state how you deal with people your work life your relationships you know you're a card in the tarot's um, the emperor and that feels very aligned, uh, aligned with where you are okay what else is going on for my Aries? Do 
You know, turtle also represents um, earth and water as well. It just feels like there's a... <clears throat> I think you might find water especially like healing and transformative right now. Even if it's just taking a lot of salt baths, you know? Okay. So we got the five of pentacles here, okay? I do feel like you've been in a place or coming to a place where you're like, I only have so much time and I feel like you want to place more of an emphasis on the things that give you pleasure and make you feel good and fill up your own cup as opposed to doing anything out of obligation. There might be people who are requiring a lot of you that might feel a little left out in the cold, as we like to say about the Five of Pentacles, um, because you're choosing yourself and you're realizing that by choosing yourself, you can then be in alignment to help others who can truly benefit from your gifts, what you have to say, what you have to offer. So this is about really cutting out the excrement of those who are not aligned with your path on a vibrational level. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, what else is going on for Aries? Again, with the water here. I mean, you really might have water signs around you and in your energy, but water feels very important for y'all. I think you might have a lot of good healing or, or good slow down time um, around or in or dealing with like bodies of water. It's mm, what it feels like. I really feel you got some water signs around you too though, for real, like close to you. Family, friends, love, whatever have you. What else is going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries? Your first half of April. Did I not? Oh my God. The Emperor. Did I not say that you're aligned with that Emperor energy? This is you. This is you. Here's what I love about the Emperor in this context the Emperor is a hard worker. But the emperor also knows when it's time to retire for the evening and, and sit down and appreciate and look over like all of his accomplishments for the day and really, really feel that, really recognize it. He, he works really hard and at the end of the day, he's, he's not like, oh my God, I could have done more. He's like, no, I always do the best that I can do. Always. And that's very much an Aries energy <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. You guys, you know, like to do the best that you could do. You don't like to leave anything on the table. So sometimes you can really work yourselves down to a fine nub where you get drained and exhausted. And I feel like that's also what the turtle is coming in here to say too. Like pace yourself for real and enjoy the getting there. Enjoy the time getting there, right? But I really feel like some of you are going to be traveling. Maybe like a spring break or traveling for work or something. Maybe to somewhere where there's a lot of water. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, even the Gulf. Whatever that is, okay? Um... Yeah, the emperor is just feeling really good about <laughs> where you are in the work. And look, the emperor has no problem cutting out people who are not in alignment with his current vibrations and his goals moving forward, period. You know what I'm saying, Ian? Let's get some clarifiers. But I love when the divine masculine energy shows up. Oh, my God. And we got the divine feminine when I split the deck. The empress, hello. For any twin flames watching, hello. Popping up here. Popping up here. But it feels like there's some good balance going on. It really, really does. Really, really does. Just pace yourself, okay? Pace yourself. I know there's this whole thing around spring of like, spring cleaning, spring renewal. And she's at the bottom of the deck again, the empress. All this stuff. But go at your own pace. I feel like you've already been in the process of doing that spring cleaning, even in the winter. Okay? Pace yourself and enjoy it. It feels like it's summertime for you guys, interestingly enough. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Cups, please, and thank you. Clarifier for the Ace of Cups. Clarifier for the Ace of Cups, please, and thank you. I'm obsessed with this so much. Did I bring that up already? Oh, right. Okay, listen. You got five of wands in the reverse to clarify the Ace of Cups. You've got another five here, a number of great change and transformation, yes? So when this is in the upright, this is just something that is the opposite of effortless. Okay, this could be competition. A struggle could be inward, external, you know, inward, outward. Outward that causes an internal conflict. Inward that reflects an external conflict. And, and just it's a struggle. This is a struggle. You've got it in reverse. You are choosing yourself and what is best for you 
over feeling the need to get stuff done or add more things to your schedule or you know help people that you don't have the energy to help or you've already tried helping and it's like talking to a brick wall you are choosing you and there's an effortlessness that it's like it's like a weight of responsibilities being lifted from your shoulders it feels like you've figured out how to move through this life right now in a way that, that really works for you and the people around you that can actually benefit from your time, okay? And give something back to you too. It's that reciprocity, right? Let's get a clarifier for these five pentacles. That is, okay, I'm obsessed. I usually wouldn't take so many, but I kind of, I feel the need. Okay, so these are for this one. Okay, so we got three of pentacles here. To clarify the five of pentacles and I love that this came up because you know we were just talking about you know the work that you do the reciprocity you know three of pentacles is being acknowledged for the work that you do what you bring to the table that no one else does your specific craftsmanship or whatever have you I do feel like some of you may be in a line of work where you're working for yourselves um, entrepreneurs or you're in a position at your job that you know you have the title of it you know you you are over other people something specific could even be um, artistry of some kind but either way um, you know remember how I said that you're gonna have you know you're, you're in a place where you're saying no to people and really cutting those things out I feel like by doing that you're bringing in three of pentacles energy people who appreciate you and see you as you are and appreciate the gifts that you in particular bring to the table and now look at this good good so we're clarifying the emperor here right and look who popped out again the emperor to clarify the emperor and along with it came the queen of cups here's why i'm obsessed with this here's why i'm obsessed with this so i can't hold all of those my hands are only so big <laughs> so the Queen of Cups is someone who uh, feels very deeply, darling. And then the Emperor, like we've been talking about, I love that he's popping up here again. If anyone's a twin flame watching this, there's a lot of divine masculine energy coming on here. And, you know, if you kind of look at it, that is fascinating. It look. I wish, okay, I can show you this. See how the emperor kind of looks like he's looking at this five of pentacles? Energetically, he might be waiting for you to, you know, clean out some of this energy that's no longer serving you. Honestly. But there is love here. There's love here, okay? We also got the queen of cups and the emperor, right? So this is someone that feels really deeply, but who really knows how to tap into, again, with the water here. Amazing. This is someone who knows how to, you know, tap into those deep emotions and then also get stuff done and delegate. So we have a feminine energy here and a masculine energy. You might be moving towards a balance um, around the feminine and masculine aspects of yourself. But I do think you're feeling really um, deeply emotional about a romantic party that was in your life, is in your life, or that's coming into your life. I feel it. And the fact that the emperor came up twice and this is your card, I feel like it's also translating to you're doing something very right. <laughs> like how else can we say it? You're doing something really right. Okay. I want to get an angel for y'all. Some angel or club guidance. Yep. Time. Um, I just heard the word time. I'm hearing that you're you're going to be delegating your time in a way where you're like, oh, this this is this makes my life a lot easier. I'm hearing schedule times for recreation if you need to, like schedule a time to do nothing. <laughs> That's literally just what I heard. And the emperor hears that and he's like, okay, I can do that. Okay, what's the angel guidance for y'all? <gasps> Oh, I cannot with this. It's too good. Prioritize. Archangel Metatron. Oh, Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. That's what this, oh my God, with the emperor here. Hello. Hello. And I feel like that's what you're doing with this, with this five of pentacles. It's clarified by the three of pentacles here too. But I feel like this is really speaking of in particular is your highest priorities being what's best serving you. I feel like you are organized and motivated. 
Um, I feel like this is coming through celestial help as well as a, you know, and also in conjunction with your own willpower. But I think that you might be getting to a point where you have a lot going on where you really may have to either delegate or say no to some things. And I think you're going to know exactly what to do by connecting it with your intuition around all of this and feeling your way through it. How does it, you know, when you wake up on a certain day, it's like, how do I feel? What is going to be in alignment with my feelings today in terms of like how the day is best spent? How is that? I keep hearing that. How is the day best spent for me in alignment with my highest and best good and in divine timing? I hear yourself asking yourself that before you get to work on your day. And I feel like sometimes it's going to be like, yeah, do the work, get to work, do your thing, clear your schedule or, or you know, get the schedule cleared rather. But I feel like other times be open to, because the emperor can also represent a certain rigidity in thinking or feeling the need or even feeling enslaved to keeping a schedule. The emperor does not like missing an appointment. I feel like you may be called here to just kind of loosen the reins a little bit because you have been holding onto them pretty tightly and it's been working for you. But it's, it's in direct contrast to this turtle energy here. You might need to really schedule some time off or some days off, okay? And this is talking about focusing on your highest priorities, not focusing on everything and making everything a priority. No, there's high priorities and then there's low priority. This is really the time to discern what those are. Separate them. Because I'm really hearing to schedule some, some you time, some fun time. It really feels like the summer for you guys, right? Even though it's spring. You guys have been working hard. Okay, got to balance that with play, pleasure, and moving at a nice, comfortable pace because sometimes the most valuable insights we can receive come when we are blissfully doing nothing and we have nowhere to be and there's no appointments to keep. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more for y'all. Why don't we, though? I'm feeling like this one. One more article for my idiots. message from my earrings here. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's get one more. Well, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go through this smorgasbord. The dove. Dove is coming up a lot. D dove represents divine, um, divine love. Okay. We have the dove here with intuition and choice. I feel like this is a special message for the uh, twin flames or those that are involved in a romantic um, soulmate connection. I think there's going to be a choice to make. I feel like they're either going to come and offer you something. They may want to spend a little time with you. This could be someone that's coming into your energy who requires time of you. And you're going to have to make time around your work schedule to accommodate them. Right? Queen of Cups might have, them might have you feeling like a Queen of Cups in your emotions. But the dove is in both of these cards, which is divine love. Um, I feel like you're being guided to really make a choice to make time for it or not. It's going to be up to you. But you don't want to have any regrets. You don't want to be so much in a working energy where making time for an important conversation or even a nice stroll through the woods somewhere with someone new or someone you know that, that is already in your energy. You don't want to not make time for that necessarily, right? Trust your intuition, you're gonna know what to do. She's kind of looking at a crystal ball there too, right? We also got discernment and compassion. Discernment and compassion. I, I feel like this is <laughs> really echoing beautifully. Um, you know the compassion here, for me, this is like, you know, homegirls like, oh Lord, please forgive me or whatever have you. And then it's like an angelic um, or like, you know, spirit guy, whatever have you, um, energy over here. I feel like you may be called or a, a situation, a person, maybe this love person may come back around towards you and really need a lot of compassion from you. If you are not balancing your natural emperor energy with the energy of the empress, you might be a little less open to um, hearing them from a place of compassion, which could translate to them telling you something that you uh, maybe don't really feel like hearing. You could even think, oh, they're making excuses. Okay. But I would, I would really kind of, you know, really relax this emperor energy a bit and really take on some empress. Okay. That's what I'm hearing for y'all. Discernment right? Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Really, really be discerning with yourself and the words that you use. That's what I'm hearing. 
Have discernment with yourself and the words that you use. I'm also here, oh, the turtle. Okay, take a pause before you react to something or before you respond to someone. It's not in your nature. Like Zanarius, you're very decisive. You, you don't like emails sitting in your inbox unopened or that you've yet to respond to, right? For the most part, okay? But you are being called to take an extra moment here, okay? Don't be afraid to do things a little bit differently because you've been very successful thus far. But we have to be able to adapt to the energies as they arise and as they shift and as they change, right? Yes. Okay. All right, my lovely Aries. <laughs> this was your first half of April general reading. I so hope that this was of help to you and that it resonated. Um, if it wasn't and did, please let me know in the comments below. I would love that. Um, also, I am available for personal readings. All that information is in the About Me section. And with that being said, I want to thank you so much for being here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.